Hey guys, what's going on? Emma here with yet another video and in today's video we are going to be watching a freaky eaters addicted to eating cheeseburgers. Yeehaw. Victor lives on cheeseburgers and cheeseburgers alone. I love burgers. He eats four burgers a day, 28 each week, which is nearly 1,500 burgers every single year. I don't eat salad. I don't eat steak. I stay away from chicken. I don't eat any vegetables or fruit. I love fishing, but there is no way in hell I will eat fish. Burgers are so good. From his burgers, Victor consumes over 88 pounds of fat every year and approximately 1.3 million milligrams of sodium. The reason why I enjoy cheeseburgers so much is because I know exactly what's going on inside there. It's simple. I like it a lot. But Victor keeps the extent of his burger obsession hidden from his wife of 11 years. Adriana thinks maybe I'll have three burgers a week. I'm really having over 20. In contrast to her husband, Victor's wife loves nothing more than to experiment with new foods. I'm going to culinary school. I love all food. I don't eat. That's sad. <laughs> That's sad that you can't support your own wife. When she's in culinary school, you can't, you know, be like, hey, this tastes good, this doesn't, you know, support your wife. I understand, you know, sometimes you don't want to have her food. I understand. We're all human. But why can't you just, like, help her and eat her food and support her? She's your own wife. What the heck? It's important for Victor to actually see how many burgers he is eating in a year. Hi there, I'm JJ. I'm a nutrition expert. Nice to meet you. By seeing it, he can really come to terms with it. Got something to show you? Come with me. Okay. I figured it wasn't going to be good. I assumed she was going to show me or tell me something bad. burgers in there. When the burgers fell out of the truck, first thing I did is look over at Adriana. So Victor, what do you think all of this represents? I'm assuming it represents the amount of burgers I eat in a five-year span. Try a one-year span. Wow. Uh, 1400. That's good. And there were burgers in there. What? Apparently not. The question is really, when's the blindness going to set in? When are you going to have to have something amputated? When's the stroke happening or the heart attack? Victor is in the midst of a major health crisis. What's it going to take? It's definitely going to take a change. I would like for you to order a burger with lettuce. <laughs> just straight lettuce? Just straight lettuce. Burger with lettuce. Let me have a cheeseburger with just lettuce. I have never ordered a burger with lettuce, ever. It made me extremely nervous. So, how are you feeling right now about it? Uh, the smell of the lettuce is really grossing me out. Right uh huh. All I want from you, Victor, is one bite. I'm used to picking off one or two pieces of lettuce. This thing was covered. I didn't know if I was going to be able to eat it or not. I'm trying so hard. Damn. All right. All right, I'm going to do this. You have to understand that I'm asking him to do something that he has not done for over 25 years. 25 years? <sighs> I realized realize that. that I have to do this. And if I want to get better, then I have to take the first step. Man, it's hard. After I started chewing it for a while and swallowed it, I realized, you know, it wasn't the end of the world. The sky didn't fall. So what did you just learn? That I can do this? Yeah. Okay. JJ has Victor try a bite of each of the new burgers. Chicken. Well, that just didn't taste right. 
veggie, and spinach. Until he finds one that he can stomach. Turkey. It's not bad. So you can do that one? It's got a lot of flavor in it. The burgers were the big unknown, but they were still familiar. When I moved into the condiments, I mean, here are vegetables. This is a man who runs from vegetables. How could you not like vegetables? I understand everyone has preferences. I understand, um, you know, some people have a preference to celery or broccoli or cauliflower, you know, potatoes, what have you. I understand everyone has a favorite vegetable, or at least I would hope so. Um, but how could you not? I mean, I understand if you don't like vegetables at all, or you know, you have certain foods you do not like vegetables on. But why shy away from lettuce on burgers? That just doesn't make any sense. There's just so much going on, I just don't know. Unfortunately, that caused a lot of anxiety. I just can't see myself doing it. There was too many flavors I couldn't wrap my head around. You know, I was just, I'm not used to all of that. This week, this is going to be your dinner each night. Now, see, I'm playing ball with you because I'm giving you burgers. Right. But it's going to be a healthier choice burger. Right. And you're not going to overthink it. I mean, if I could stop overthinking, then yeah, that would be awesome. Is this a deal? So, yeah, it's a deal. I'm scared that I might go back. By the third day, Victor is struggling with his healthy burger options. The menu that Gigi wrote up started to remind me of burgers too much. I wanted a real burger. You know, I felt myself going through withdrawals, but I haven't cheated on this at all so far. As long as I can keep the cravings down, then, you know, I don't have to like food to eat it. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Thinking about eating fish is making me really nervous. What do we got here? I think we have bass. Okay. It's really going through my head like crazy right now. I don't know if I'm ready. There it is. There it is. <laughs> There's a lot of things going through my mind, like, wonder why uh, do I really want to do this? Breaks apart real easy, huh? I'm really trying hard to keep my mind off of the fish. <laughs> That's good. All right. <laughs> Success. <laughs> Victor has made those first steps, which are always the hardest. He is now going to have the self-confidence that he needs to continue to make progress and change. You ever think you're going to be here? No. Nah. Before starting this, I came to the realization that I was going to die young. But now, I feel like I can do it. Hey, Jenna, how are you feeling over there? Yeah, I can't believe it. I never thought that this would happen. Dr. Dow and JJ gave me my husband back, and I owe it to them. I don't have much else to commentate on with that episode. So, yeah. Does my cat have anything to say? Do you have anything to say, Dribble? As a cat, she has nothing to say. Without further ado, I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on those bell notifications for more. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace!